Hi guys, uh, we are moving on to the second day of interpreting graphs. So yesterday we did domain, range, positive and negative, and then f of a value. Uh, today we're going to do x-intercepts and y-intercepts. We're going to talk about maximums and minimums and increasing, decreasing. Again, most of this stuff kind of makes sense intuitively. Um, it's just a matter of understanding what is the question actually asking for. Sorry, I always get kind of situated right before I start. I just have to do it. I got to get in my right mind, my right frame of mind. All right. So this lesson definitely goes with the last one. So if you haven't watched the last one yet, uh, this one goes on top of that. So make sure you can handle it. All right. So if the question is asking you to tell where the graph is going uphill, that is where f of x is increasing. F of X is increasing means it's going up. If something's increasing, it's going up. So you're going to say, where on the graph is it going up? We are always going to write that as an inequality. It's going to be a where question. So if it's a where question, it's definitely going to involve X. And it's always going to be underlined. Some books do different things. Uh, for our purposes, anytime we talk about increasing, decreasing, we're going to have both inequalities underlined. Don't worry about it. Just do it. <laughs> All right. So where is the graph going downhill? So if the graph is going down, that is where f of x is decreasing. Again, it's a where question. So if it's a where question, it means your x value and when, just where it's going to be in between. Any point that touches or crosses the x-axis is going to be called an x-intercept. Any point that touches or crosses the y-axis is a y-intercept. Any point that is a peak of the graph, okay, and be careful with this one. There can be more than one peak, and it doesn't have to be the highest point just to be considered a peak, but any peak in the graph is considered a maximum, and any point that is a valley of the graph is going to be a minimum. All right, let's do it. Where is f of x increasing? So f of x is increasing means it's going up. So imagine you're on a roller coaster. Okay, and you put your little cart right here on my roller coaster. To move this cart, am I going to push it up or is it going to fall down the hill? Well, at this point, I have to push up the hill. I am increasing, I am increasing, I am increasing, increasing, increasing until right there. Because at that point right there, all of a sudden, I'm going to start to fall. So from negative 10, it's a where question, so where is an x value? From negative 10, all the way until zero, because again, x's, x's. From negative 10 to zero, I'm increasing. Remember, we always underline uh, increasing, decreasing. Sorry, that was super ugly. That's not the only place it's increasing. We're increasing there to zero, and then my ball or my uh, roller coaster would start to fall down. So where is it decreasing? So x values again. Starting at zero until my x value of four, I'm decreasing and I'm going downhill. And then at four, guess what? I start having to go uphill again. I got to push it up the hill. So from four until six, I'm increasing because I'm going up. And then that's not it because I go down again. So from six, until 8, I'm decreasing. 6 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 8. Again, x is sandwiched in between those values. So I have two separate intervals where I'm increasing and two separate intervals when I'm decreasing. That can happen a lot. You could have a whole lot of intervals. Uh, I'll try not to make it too much, but both of those intervals is when it's increasing and decreasing. That's the hardest part of the day. If you can do that, we're good. List the x-intercepts x-intercepts, so my x value is going to be equal to anywhere I touch the x-axis. Well, this is my x-axis right here. So how many times do I touch that line? One, two. All I'm going to do is list the x values. x is equal to negative eight and x is equal to seven. Boom, done. Just listing the x values. List the y-intercept. So if it's a y-intercept, I'm going to say what the y value is. y equals this is my y-axis, so I'm looking for any place that intersects that one. 
If you're doing y-intercepts, you're only ever going to have one because these are functions. And if you had more than one, it wouldn't pass the vertical line test. But the only y value that intersects is at four. So y equals four. Now we're going to talk about maximums and minimums. The key here is a local maximum. And we're going to list the local maximum. I'm going to change that to where are the local maximums. So we're going to make this an x equals problem. A local maximum, okay? Imagine I gave you this view right here, okay? I was like, ooh, look at this mountain range. And you were to climb up this mountain, okay? You're climbing, you're climbing, you're climbing. You get to the peak, and you're going to be happy. That is a maximum. You cannot go any higher than that based on the picture you're looking at, all right? That's a tall mountain. Cool. So zero is a maximum. X equals zero because that's when... I got to the top of that mountain. But what if I showed you only this part of the graph? All right, this part of the graph right here, and you were to climb up this mountain. So you're climbing, you're climbing, you're climbing. Yeah. I'm at the peak of this mountain. I have reached a maximum. For this guy right now, for what he can see, he's at a maximum. He He's at as high a point as he can get. This guy got higher, but it doesn't matter. When we talk about local maximums, it means for around where you are, can you go any more up? Can you increase any more? This guy can no longer increase, and after he increases, he's got to decrease. That's what makes a max maximum. If you are increasing and then cannot increase anymore and have to decrease, that is a maximum. Anywhere it goes up and then down again. Okay? So this is a maximum, that's a maximum, that's a maximum, that's a maximum. It doesn't matter that it's the tallest point. It just matters that you go up and down again. That is considered a maximum. Any peak of a mountain is going to be considered a maximum. So x equals 0 and x equals 6 is going to be a maximum for this graph. Okay, local minimums. When it's a local minimum, I like to think of if you were to roll a ball. If I had a ball here and I was rolling it on my graph. Okay, rolling it, rolling it, rolling it, rolling it, rolling it, roll, 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 roll. And then my ball would stop right there because it would start to roll up and then it would kind of whoop, 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 and then settle, okay? When we're thinking minimums, we are thinking a valley. If there is a place on your graph that goes down and then goes up again, that is a minimum, okay? So X equals four is going to be a local minimum on this graph. Notice that negative 10 and negative eight are not considered local minimums. It's not a local minimum because it didn't decrease and then increase again. It's got to change from decreasing to increasing in order to be considered a local minimum. So the only one on this graph is at four. So local maximums, it's got to go up and then down. Local minimums, it's got to go down and then up. Hope that makes sense. Let's do it again. Where is the graph increasing? So I'm increasing. When am I going up? From negative five. This graph's a little bit funky, but we're going to assume that it stops going up. Yeah. See, this graph is weird. Let's say it stops going up at zero. I know that it's kind of in the middle there, but let's say that it looks like it reaches its peak at zero. So we're going to go from negative five to zero. Because during that time interval, that graph is increasing. I'm going up. Is there any other time where my graph is going up? No. Because from negative 10 to negative five, I'm going down, I'm decreasing, my ball would roll downhill, okay? From zero until nine, I'm decreasing, my ball would roll downhill. So both of those are gonna be decreasing intervals. Those are the hard ones. List the local maximum, so X is gonna be equal to, when in my maximum, that's a peak, when do I go up and then down? So on my graph, when does it change from yellow to green? Because I'm increasing to decreasing. The only place that happens is that X is equal to zero. Where is the local minimum? So a local minimum has to change from decreasing to increasing. It's got to be a valley. It's got to be where the ball rolls and then stops. The only place right there that goes decreasing to increasing is negative 5. That's my only minimum. X-intercepts. Everywhere I cross the X-axis. Here's the X-axis right here. I never cross it. Never touch it. So X, or I'm sorry, not X equals anything. Nope. None. <laughs> I always like to write nope because it makes me happier inside. So that's why I do that. 
lists the y-intercepts. The y-intercepts are where it crosses the y-axis. I cross the y-axis right there when y equals negative 1. Done. One more here. Let's see what's going on. When is f of x increasing? So when am I going up? Well, if I just look at this graph, the only place I'm going up is right here. From negative 7, I'm sorry, just playing, 7, because it's a where question, 7 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 10. From 7 to 10, the x values, when it's a where question, from 7 to 10, I'm increasing. When am I decreasing? A little bit trickier here. Starting at negative 8, I'm decreasing. I'm going down, I'm going down, I'm going down, I'm going down, I'm going down to negative 4. Then what happens at negative 8 to ne after negative 4? Is it increasing or decreasing? And the answer is neither. I'm not increasing or decreasing after negative 4. It is flat. It is constant. So I'm not going to include that in either interval. So negative 8 to negative 4, I'm decreasing. And then again, we decrease from 3 until 7. I start decreasing again. Again, it's a where question, so it's x. X-intercepts, when do I cross the x-axis? That's this guy right here. When do I cross that? I cross it at 4 and 10. Great. Y-intercepts, when do I cross the y-axis? This is the y-axis right here. Y equals 2. Local maximums, local maximums, when do I reach a peak? When do I change from increasing to decreasing? None. There aren't any maximums here. I go down, flat, down, up. I never go from up to down, so there are no peaks. Where are the local minimums? I only have one that changes from decreasing to increasing. This is nothing. This is nothing because those are not a place where it changes from increasing to decreasing or decreasing to increasing. I have a local minimum at x is equal to 7. A little bit strange, but once you get the feel for it, uh, they're important concepts, so make sure you do. Okay, uh, Your quick check is over all of these different concepts put together, so it might take you some work, but see what you can do. If you need help, check Khan Academy or check the quizzes or contact me. Thanks, guys.